A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver. The Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. On, Silver! Let's go, big fellow! I'm Silver! Cedar Grove nestled at the base of a towering mountain. The people had lived in contentment, and their small farms in the lush valley had done well. But the peace was short-lived. A syndicate found gold in the hill and sent a crew of men to mine the ore. Each blast sent loose shale sliding into the valley. As the tunnel progressed, the threat of a major landslide increased. This can't go on. Sooner or later, we'll have real trouble. Why can't those miners be careful? we got to do something. Let's go get salt. That's the ticket. There goes another blast up on that mountain. And here comes some more loose rock. You're the man to speak for all of us, Saul. Boys, we've already talked to Flint Scanlon. And we've got to talk some more. we got to do more than talk. I'm afraid that's the answer. We've got to do more than talk. I've had five windows busted in the last week. My garden plot's completely buried. If they want a six-gun showdown, let's give it to them. Yeah. Now, boys, wait. Wait just a minute. Calm down now. Take it easy. Calm down, my eyes. How can we be calm when Scanlon insists on ruining everything in the valley? Yeah. Well, right. we'll make one more attempt to get a peaceful settlement. I've got a plan to propose to Scanlon. If he doesn't agree to it, then we'll... Well, I guess we'll have to take down the guns we hung up a couple of years ago. Hurry it up, boys. Load up that loose stuff and clear it away. We've got to get ready for another blast. Hey, Flynn, I've got to speak to you. Well, what is it, Beach? Speak up and be quick. Step over here to the trail downhill. I'll show you something. Never mind. Show me the loose stuff that slides in the valley. I'm not interested. Ain't that, Flint. Come over here. Yeah, all right. What is it? Looks like we're due for another visit by a committee from the valley. Uh, just a minute, Pete. I'll fix that. Hey, Joe! Tell the guards to get ready in case of trouble. Now, Flint, Come there on, you... Pete. We'll meet that committee. 
I don't know. Is it smart to ignore the people in the valley, Flint? I'm making this mine give out the pay dirt. That's the job I was sent here for. Nothing else matters. If the valley or the people in it are in my way, that's too bad for them. There they come. Who's the white-haired old galoot riding ahead? That's old Saul Grayson. I guess he's sort of the leader of the settlement in the valley. Yeah, I've heard about him. I wasn't around last time he was up here. Well, you didn't miss much. I've told him before, and I'll tell him again where his rights end and my rights begin. What do you men want here? I want to speak to you, Scanlon. What's eating you now, Grayson? My friends have asked me to speak for them once more. Well? You've been doing a lot more blasting up here, Scanlon. Whatever. Well, we've been talking it over. We'd like to come to an agreement with you. Why should I? I don't owe you nothing, Grayson. I know you don't. But will you just hear me out? All right, talk fast. I'm busy. I'll tell you how it is. You got your work to do. And just like the rest of us, I reckon you have your problems. Don't suppose you'd get much ore unless you use blasting powder. But I wonder if you've ever looked over the formation of the land hereabouts. I'm not here to look at the land. I'm here to dig. Well, this hill here is mostly shale. Every time you set off a blast... Some of that shale moves down on us in the valley. It's getting worse all the time. We're afraid that one of these days it'll be a big slide. You're borrowing trouble. A good-sized blast could start the whole side of this hill sliding. It might bury Cedar Grove under shale ten feet deep. So what am I to do? Now, don't misunderstand. We don't mean to tell you your business. But we figure there's a couple of things you can do. Yeah. For one, you could dig back into the hill ways. Kind of terrace it before you blast. That'd help some. I could, huh? Well, then when you've done that, you could use smaller charges. Go easy on the powder. Cut down the risk of starting a slide. That all you got to suggest? We figured that'd be enough. You got any notion how much it would cost to dig like you say? Any idea the men I'd have to hire and feed? Well, I suppose it would be a little more expensive. And using smaller charges of blasting powder, That'd have been twice, twice the time to get out the same amount of ore. Wouldn't that be better than risking folks' lives? What's ailing you folks below there? You scared of your shadows? Jump every time a piece of loose stone comes rolling down? Oh, we aren't any more skittish than anyone else, I guess. You want my answer? That's what we rode up here for. Then I'll make it short and easy to savvy. No. I'm not changing anything. And you don't intend to be careful? I got a job to do, and I'm going to do it. Scanlon, we valley men have been quiet and peaceful. But we weren't always that way. You look these men over. You'll see a plenty of scars that come of battle. Look in the valley. You'll see plenty of graves of men that gave their lives fighting for their rights. We'll go on back and keep quiet or there might be some new graves. We fought Indians and wild beasts and all manner of hardship to win and hold our valley. If need be, Scanlon, we'll fight again. That's all I've got to say. Come on, boys. Flint, he meant what he said. That pack of spooky sodbusters can't tell me what to do. Order me to cut down on the blast, Sam. Yeah? I'll show them the next blast will be one they won't forget. <laughs> It was late afternoon when the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode into the valley and approached a small house. Oh, 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 Get water here, huh? I think so, Tonto. Steady, so look. There's an awful lot of loose rock around here. Ah, that right. Must come from the mining operations up there. Ah, look here. Huh. Garden's covered with shale. Hey, you. Mount up and keep moving. We stopped for water. We got no time for masked men or Indians. Got trouble enough already. Please lower the shotgun. Give us I... heavy look. Uphill. Oh. That's a heavy blast. Oh, they've done it again. Plenty rock come this way. A landslide. The biggest of all. Big rocks. Cut loose now. You've got to get out of here. No. Don't let me alone. Follow the horses. Let me go. Let me go. Help, Bob. 
landslide's coming right for your house. Uh, here's Silver. Out of Tonto. Uh, steady, Scout, steady. Uh, go, I tell you. Get you out of here. Up you go. Uh, anyone in that cabin? Help! Bob, help me. Answer me. Is anyone inside? No, no. You hurry. Slide, Penny, close. Steady, big fella. Come on, Silver, I'm up, Scout. Some as big as the wash tub. Bob's house is gone. We'll smash and everything before him. That ornery coyote scandal. He'll pay for this. Hey, look at the mask man. Where'd he come from? Who's he got? Why, ain't that Bob's wife? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, are you all right? Who's this masked man? Is this your wife? Yes. Here, I'll help you down, ma'am. Oh, Bob. Bob, I, I'd have been killed. I, I was right at the door of the house. I saw it, ma'am. I saw the biggest rocks heading right for our house. Yours ain't the only house, Bob. Half a dozen places were wiped out by the blast. Everything we had in the world is gone. You're more important than anything else, honey. Thank goodness you're all right. Bob, you're greatly indebted to that masked man and the Indian. Oh, oh I forgot about you. That's all right. I, I don't know how I can repay you. To, to think that I fought you, I, I guess I was out of my head for a minute. Was anyone trapped in that slide? I don't think so, but we've been hit hard. And we're going to hit back twice as hard. That blast was Flint Scanlon's answer to our visit. Well, Sarge, you told him we were ready to fight. He's asked for it. Yes, he's asked for it. I hoped we could avoid it, but I guess we can't. Did the man in charge of the mining operations set that heavy blast intentionally? Yes, we asked him to fire lighter charges, and this is his answer. I thought a big syndicate controlled that mine. That's the case. None but a big outfit could make the operation pay. The ore is low-grade. They have to take out a lot of it to make the job worthwhile. Well, you can get damages from the syndicate. Huh. We didn't build this settlement by airing our troubles in court, stranger. We'll handle this our own way. Flint Scanlon was born. We told him we'd fight. What are we waiting for? Let's get started. Yeah, right. Uh, just a minute, just a minute. There's a lot of men working on that tunnel. They can meet you on even terms. That suits us. Even if you win, many of you will be killed. So that's the price we must pay to hold our valley. We asked Scanlon to tear us his job and use light blasts. He told us to try and make him. Well, we'll do it. No use trying to change us, mister. We are grateful to you for saving the life of Bob's wife. We sure are. But from now on, we'll handle this in our own way. Get your guns, men. And get clubs and anything else you got. Uh, please, please, just one minute. Listen to me. Make it quick. Wouldn't it be far better to persuade Flint Scanlon to pay for the damage and change his methods? Yeah. Might as well try to persuade water to run uphill. Yeah. Give me a chance to talk to Scanlon. Thanks, mister, but we've already talked to him. Saul's a good talker, but he didn't get anywhere at all. There's just one language that overfed polecat understands, and that's gun talk. Yeah. All right, all right. You can postpone the fight for a little while, can't you? Why should we? We should have gone up that mountain with gunfire a long time ago. Bob's right. You men are determined to go and get your head shot off. You might at least take time to salvage a few things for the women who have lost their homes. Look where your house stood, Bob. Everything you and your wife own is buried in that rubble. Aren't you going to try to get some of May's possessions? Well, well That's I... right. Bob, we can maybe find a lot of things that are still useful. I can see at least two other houses that were struck by the landslide. Yeah. Maybe he's got something. Yes, boys, the masked man is right. Before we fight, we must salvage what we can. We'll all pitch in. It won't take long. Then let's go and get it over with. I can hardly wait to go after those skunks in the mountain. Come on, we'll tackle Bob's house first. Well, that was a smart thought. Saul, can I persuade you to avoid an open battle? Ah, the men will fight whether I lead them or not. Yes, I guess you're right. You wanted the fight postponed. You seized upon the idea of salvage to get a postponement. Yes, I did. Hey, Saul, you coming? Be right with you. I wonder what you're going to do with the time you've gained. I don't know, Saul. I don't know. I hope I can do something. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
now to continue our story. After the biggest of all blasts had sent a landslide into the valley, Flint Scanlon continued mining operations with little concern for those who had suffered. Uh, get that entrance shored up before we quit for the day. I could only get enough men on this job. Uh, you, boss? Hey. Uh, where'd you come from, Indian? You want a job here at the mine? No, me not one job. Me want to show you something. Now, look here, Redskin. I ain't got no time for fooling. State your business and clear out so as I can work. Now, you come. It not take long. Where to? A rock over there. Something there you want to show me, you say? Ah. Well, lead on. But if you're just wasting my time, I'll boot you clean over the other side of the hill. Now, me not waste time. What's over there? You see. <laughs> Takes an engine to make nothing sound like something. I've never seen the beat of you, Redskins. You walk round rock. Yeah. Ah. I don't see nothing. Make a sound, Flint, and you'll regret it. Blast. What's the idea? The main idea is to prevent a fight. A fight? Yes. The people in the valley are going to come here for a showdown. Oh, they are, huh? Keep your but... voice down. Otto, you let me know if anyone comes near. Ah. The last powder you fired started a pretty heavy slide. Did a lot of damage in the valley. I guess you knew it would, didn't you? If those people want to live here, they got to take their chances. They know what's going on here. We're mining gold. We're firing blasting powder. We can't help what happens. Yes, you can, Scanlon. If those valley people are friends of yours, you tell them I'm ready with armed guards for anything they want to start. I don't need to tell them. They know it. Then they know they'll come here at their own risk. If they trespass on private property, they'll be shot. Then there's no use trying to persuade you to meet them halfway to prevent bloodshed? <laughs> what do you call halfway? You'll terrace this land and fire small charges so the people down below won't be in danger. I'll do nothing of the sort. You'll do more than that. You'll pay for any damage that's done in the future. You'll pay for the damage that's already been done. Well, of all... <laughs> Mister, when it comes to nerve, you sure take the first prize for having a lot of it. You can prevent a lot of shooting and killing by doing as I said. I'll prevent a lot of shooting and killing by ordering my guys to throw lead into the ones that come here to start it. In that case, Scanlon, there's just one thing to do. Yeah? Yeah. I'll have to make sure you don't give any such orders to your guards. What do you mean? Cotto, toss me that rope. Now, listen, Ed. Sorry, Scanlon. Uh, here. here. You try to rope me don't enough. Don't make empty threats. I'll back them up. There's one, here's another. You missed that time. Yeah, but this time I'll... Sorry. Why are you... And here's another. I'll come this way. You hurry. Right. You wait there. Take time to tie you. Have to finish it like this. Hey, Flint, Brian. Here, Silver, you get away. I'll come here fast. All right, Tonto. We'll take this man with us. Toss him over the saddle. Uh, him plenty big fella. Saddle her over there a little way. We're going uphill, Tonto. Follow me. Uh, me follow. Steady, big fella. One silver in a month's count. Lone Ranger managed to get away with Flint Scanlon before any of the miners were aware that anything had happened to their boss. In the valley, the settlers finished clearing out the rubble and salvaging all that could be saved. Then at dusk, the men were armed and mounted and ready to ride up the hill. I guess we're all set, ain't we, Saul? Mm-hmm. Hold it a minute. Bob's coming. Uh, hurry up, Bob. We're waiting for you. Oh, oh, there. oh boy, say that. I'm all ready. Men, uh, are you sure this is what you want? That's yeah, right, Saul. You know that there'll be some of us who won't return to our homes, don't you? Yeah, we know it. We're ready for what comes. Now, let's get started. Ready to shove on? I'm ready. Hey, look over there. That's a white horse again. The mash man. He's coming back. I hope we'd see him again. What'd you say, Saul? Let's let's wait a minute. The mask man's coming here. He must have something to tell us. Oh, who's on the road? Glad to see you again, mister. Did you come from the mine? Maybe you told him to look for us. Well, what's going on? Oh, just a minute, boys. Give the mask man a chance to speak. Wake up and go back to your homes. What? It won't be necessary to fight. How do you know? What's Scanlon say? Did you talk to Scanlon? Yes, I've talked to Scanlon. I told him he'd have to tear us a land and use lighter blasts. Oh, he'll never agree to that. Yes, he will. 
I also told him he'd have to pay for all the damage that's been done. Well, well, that's one thing he'll never do. He'd sooner die. He'll fight till every one of his men are killed before he does that. No, he won't. He'll meet all the terms. Did he say that? Does he promise in writing? He hasn't put it in writing yet, but he will. Please believe me. You wait until morning, you'll have his acceptance of those terms in writing. What more can you get by making an attack? One minute. We'll wait until morning. But if what you've said isn't true... That will be time enough to attack. Bob, will you come with me? Where to? Will you come without questions? But where? What for? I can't tell you just yet. Well, I don't know. Bob, that man saved the life of your wife. Yeah, that's so. I'll go with you. Thanks. Listen, mister. We're riding up to that camp at nine in the morning. We'll get those terms you mentioned in writing... Or we'll start the gunplay. I'll meet you at nine in the mining camp. Follow me, Bob. Mon Silver, get up there. In the meantime, Tonto rode into the mining camp and sought out Flint's assistant, the man called Pete. Blast and powder and fuse, hmm? Mm, That's right. Me take him to Flint Scanlon. Funny for him to ride off without a word to me. Well, him worried about people in the valley. Yeah, I should think he would be. What's he going to do, set off some more blasts? Or maybe other blast in another place. Send rocks down in a new place. Darn fool. You won't get nowhere by these tactics. Me tell him you not send powder, fuse? No, no, don't do that. I'll send what he wants. Ain't for me to argue with the boss. Makes it downright hard for those that step out of line. How much powder do you want? Well, me take all the pack mule carry. All right, come with me. I get a pack mule loaded for you. By the way, where is Flint Scanlon? Maybe better you not know. Then you maybe avoid trouble. I don't see much chance of avoiding trouble. The way it looks to me, we're heading into more and worse trouble with every move the boss makes. Tonto and the Lone Ranger had a camp near the top of the mountain. It was here that Flint Scanlon lay in ropes that held his hands and feet. He spent a night of fitful sleep, wondering what strange activities were going on nearby. In the morning, he saw the masked man and Tonto seated near a small campfire. Hey, you. How long are you going to keep me here? Oh, not much longer, Scanlon. A couple of hours should be enough. I heard digging you in the night. Oh, did you? What are you up to? You'll hear more digging when a friend of ours gets here. Uh, him come right now. Who is he? Ah, uh, him come up trail over there. Good. You uh, may know him, Scanlon. Name's Bob. His house was destroyed yesterday when your blast started the landslide. I don't know none of those people in the valley. You may get to know Bob very well before you're through. Even he may be neighbors. Yeah. What do you mean by that? He may become a gold miner. Hi there. Hello, Bob. Your mission successful? It sure was. Oh, oh boy, oh there. Ah, that's Flint Scanlon, huh? Yeah. I sure hope gold mining don't make me that ugly to look at. Why? You... I'm all set to go. Got my claim staked and filed and have some new tools tied to the saddle. I had to get the clerk in the land office out of bed. <laughs> Good. Tonto and I have already buried some blasting powder. We start firing any time. <laughs> Great. Go over and light the first fuse, Tonto. Ah, uh, me go. Hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> it should be obvious, Scanlon. The boundary of your property is a couple of hundred feet below us. Bob has claimed the property from there to the top of the hill. Now, wait, you can't... He's, uh, going to do some prospecting. This land's been going over. There's nothing but low grade ore around here. I'll find out for myself. <laughs> Let me out of these ropes. I've got to see about this. <laughs> well, there's nothing to see about. I've told you the facts. Here comes Tonto. I guess he's lighted the fuse. Good. I hope the blast doesn't start a slide. Hey, look what's happening. A lot of loose rock around here. Can you fire next blast now? Yes, go ahead, Toto. Fire two at once. No, wait a minute. Wait, listen to me. Wait for what? Go ahead, Toto. But Scanlon likes noise. Uh-huh. He gives him plenty of beat. No, no, no. That rock's going down to my tunnel. It'll seal the tunnel. Your tunnel doesn't worry us. You'll burn my machinery. Neither do your machine. Rip me out of these ropes. Get me out of here. I gotta do something. What can you do? A big blast will start the whole hill slide down to my tunnel. It might bury our machinery under ten feet of rock. <laughs> That's your business. There she goes. Look at that rock. 
We got to slide down. My job will be wrecked. The police will be buried. Look, here come the men from the gold mine. You want more big noise? Keep them going, Tato. Gannon isn't ready to listen to terms. No, wait, wait, listen. He won't be willing to talk until he sees what a real blast will do to his gold. Who says they won't talk? What do you want? What are you after? I gave you the terms yesterday. Hey, what's going on? Come on. Look, he's there. Hey, Flynn, our tunnel's being sealed. What's going on here? Tell those men to keep back. Tell them to keep back, and I'll signal Tonto to hold the next blast. Keep back! Keep back, I tell you! Well, how about it, Scanlon? Are you going to terrace your land and fire light charges and pay for the damage you've done in the valley? Listen, Mr. I'm Tommy. We'll talk terms. We'll negotiate. You've got the terms. There'll be no change in them. But I... I... Light that fuse, Tonto. Please don't let him. Oh, no. Hold it, hold it. Tell that Indian to hold it. I've signaled him. What's your answer? Look, will you tell that young man to sell me this land? No. You can't buy it at any price. As long as I got the right to work this land, buy Thunder Scanlon, you've got to stay in line. Now, about those terms. You'll pay for the damage? I... I've got to... i got no choice. And you'll be careful in the future? Yeah. You'll tear us the land you're working so no more shale will slide down? It'll cost a heap, but... But I'll do it. I'll put it in writing, if that's what you want. Good. Get his ropes, Bob. I'll see you later. Right. Where... Where's he gone? Hey! Uh, where you going? I'll have to hurry. I promised the people in the valley that I'd meet them in your camp at nine. I don't want to keep them working. Let it be fun. Come on, Silver. Well, I'll be doggone. Who, who in Tarnation is that masked man? He's our friend, Scanlon. He's the Lone Ranger. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of Lone Ranger Incorporated.